hi guys it's your girl elijah tyra and i'm back with another video so like comment subscribe and share um today i decided because i kind of my eating habits have been a little different if you can tell i lost weight because i be in the gym every day but um i have tried going raw vegan i'm not gonna say tried going raw vegan i pretty much did go raw vegan um so yeah i've been like trying to stay away from like cooked foods so to speak so i've eaten like a lot of salads but whatever that's neither here nor there that's my explanation as to why i've been gone for so long um as far as my food review videos but today i'm back with another sit with me do a food review um as well as i need to have like a really serious conversation with you guys today um it's a conversation that a friend of mine kind of provoked me to have but it's really incredibly important so today's restaurant is a restaurant that is in surprise orlando okay we out in orlando florida um and it's called jacked up vegan i think that's what it's called i know it's called jacked up but i don't know if the vegan part is on there but um i forgot what street it's on it's on north orlando avenue no it's not it's not it's not on that street i don't know what street it's on i'll i'll leave it in the description below but um it's actually not the first time that i've heard their food it's the second first time i just didn't do a video and they had this chicken sandwich which was actually really good it was actually a buffalo chicken sandwich that i had mock chicken not real chicken and it was scrumptious i've been trying to like not eat soy just because I was reading somewhere and after doing my research, soy is really not good for our, um, for us in general. Um, anything with soy in it is just not good for us. So, um, yeah, I've been trying to stay away from soy. So my eating has kind of been all over the place. I've been trying to readjust, but, um, obviously, as you can tell, these are nachos, but. It's nachos with jackfruit. Just because I've also not been trying to eat um, like impossible meat and that sort of stuff. Just because... Dang, you didn't give me no silver one. Um, just because that stuff is really not good for you. Come to find out. It's not good for you. It's processed. And I guess because it's like overly processed, it's just not good for you. But anyways, um, I'm about to use this phone. But um, yeah. So I wanted to come on here and have a conversation with you guys about um, oh lord. So there was a video that came out mm, maybe around ten or eleven days ago in um north in Las Vegas of an unidentified object, a UAP. Um, which shout out to Brandon the owner of whole house collections because that's who dropped this dime on me like y'all know i'd be like tapped into my own little reality so i don't always be paying attention to what's going on in the world around me even though i probably should do it should oh oh baby this good but these peppers is hot okay it's given but that's exactly what i wanted because i'd be i like for my sinuses to be drained Especially if I'm eating something. And just so they can clear. You know what I'm saying. Keep everything clear and free of mucus. But um. Oh lord. They hot. I'm not gonna lie. It's extra stuff on these. I got these um. This Mexican corn. It's like Mexican street corn. And I just kind of like put it over it. So it's like extra stuff, but um, it's still nachos. Mm. This is good. This is better than that sandwich. Although I ain't gonna lie, that chicken sandwich was good. It really was good. But this, this hit way better. It hit harder. But anyways, back to this topic at hand. So as you know, there was a video that the media finally decided to admit um, 
where this guy said an unidentified object landed on his front lawn. And Vegas, of all places. And I'll leave a link. Actually, if you go on my um community, I posted a, a, a news link to the video. I just said that I was going to post my video that I was making in correlation to it. Well, her pants are cute. Um, in a few days, which now here I am posting it. I have to blow my nose because these um, jalapeno peppers are really hot. So you have to excuse me. But okay. So, um... So... The video comes out. Well, the guy said he had a video, but that video of the actual spacecraft, um, he hasn't been released. But like there was an imprint left on his front yard of the actual spacecraft, which it looks to be it looks to be pretty big. He said when he directly looked at the spacecraft, he really couldn't see anything because it was a little bit distorted. But the part that raised the red flag for me was he said the beans got out of the spacecraft and started because I guess like he's like some sort of contractor or something. So he's like has all this like heavy equipment in his yard of like um like he has to be like a um like a building contractor. Because he had a like a lot of tools that you would use to build buildings and stuff so he said the thing gets out the craft and he like they weren't human so he they proceed to like mess with um the craft i mean the um i don't know whether it was a crane or uh i don't remember but that's that was the first red flag to me Actually, it was the second red flag. The first red flag was the fact that um, this happened in Vegas. If you know anything about that particular area, you know that area is a hotbed for UAP activity because Area 51 is over there, okay? If y'all don't know, y'all should know. Anything about Area 51, there's been a lot of, there always has been a lot of I wouldn't even say it was extraterrestrial because extraterrestrial is we're assuming that it came from another planet and the real tea is it's a lot of technology that is not known to the masses okay if you again I've said it in another video can't distinguish which one it was at this point in time but if you watch the series mm. project blue book you will realize that the government has had access to advanced technology since the 1940s and the 1950s probably before that but a lot of this stuff is known within the higher up communities within that circle but it's not known to the general public during the time of World War II after because um, one thing people don't realize Germany was never really defeated um, a lot of the Nazi um, scientists moved over to America and they went off into special task forces. So you had people that went off into the CIA, you had people that have went off into NASA, you had people that went off into the US government, you had people that became um higher ups within military personnel. All these Nazi German scientists pretty much just were told to come over to America and continue your studies over here. There was one particular scientist that 
understood. Um, flight without propellers, right? So they've had this technology to, to create UFOs or airplanes that fly, I guess that's what you would call them, like UFOs, that don't run on any fuel. They just run on natural energy, right? This is how I came in contact with this information. Well, and this is supposed to have taken place in the 50s because of like a lot of the crafts that what happens is, is after the bomb of Kirishima was dropped, there was a influx of UFO sightings. The reason as to why was because um, people don't understand the whole idea of separation is an illusion. Okay, like we're all connected. So if you do something over here, it can in turn affect somewhere else within the universe, right? Not only just that, you give people whose consciousness has not evolved past a certain particular point advanced weaponry, and they're not only going to do danger to themselves, but they're going to do danger to anything that's around them so when they realize oh my god or oh my gosh you guys are detonating nuclear bombs this is going to be a problem oh my god that stuff got my nose running that's good but these beans realized that this was going to be a problem specifically because if you guys have access to this technology it's only a matter of time before you guys have access to technology that allows you to get off of this planet now if you're sitting down here killing each other who's to say you won't go somewhere else and destroy an entire planet you know what i'm saying like people seem to think like extraterrestrials are scary they're not the problem. The problem is humans, okay? It's these people, you people, that are down here on this earth right now. Y'all don't know how to love one another. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying y'all, meaning people that are watching this video, because obviously if you're watching this video, you're different. But people don't know how to communicate with one another. They don't know how to divinely love one another. And they don't know how to come on one accord and just, you know what I'm saying, be authentic you know what i'm saying you got people down here that's still saying oh i don't like you because your skin color is brown like you chose that you know what i'm saying like, well you did but you still have people who are have petty squabbles you know what i'm saying so it's like if you all are still having these sort of issues you guys have not raised your consciousness to a level you know what i'm saying in which it should be it's like giving a baby a gun what the heck do you think the baby's gonna do? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a danger to that child and to everybody that's around them because the child is just gonna play with the gun and eventually figure out how to pull the trigger. It's only a matter of time before it either shoots itself or shoots someone else. That's the perfect analogy that I can think about. But the reason why I'm bringing this up, because like I said, this happened over in Vegas, which is in the area that is not too far from Area 51. And if you watch that documentary with Bob Lazar, he straight up tells you, you know what I'm saying? We've had technology that can pretty much take us into a new age back in the 70s that just has not been released to the public. And it has not been released to the public because, surprise, these corporations cannot make money off of it this is free energy you know what i'm saying there's not going to be a need for fossil fuel and as of right now the oil industry is such a big industry that they don't want to come off of that unfortunately but only in due time you know what i'm saying so these extraterrestrials that are coming within the atmosphere that are actually extraterrestrials you know what i'm saying get their planes shot down i mean their spacecraft shot down so that these humans who want to weaponize this 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 technology can reverse engineer it and figure out you know what i'm saying how can we weaponize this that's 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 the only thing they ever want to do is how can we weaponize this in, instead of how can we take civilization into a golden age you know what i'm saying how can we you know what i'm saying they still want people down here paying bills paying for water 
Y'all remember back in the 80s? And I'm not even, was never even born in the 80s. I'm younger than that. But remember back in the 80s and the 70s, they said by the early 2000s that we would be in a golden age, like living like the Jetsons. We're supposed to be within that age and the technology is out here. It's just like I said, they don't want to release it. But like I said, the second thing that was a red flag in that particular video was the fact that these extraterrestrials was playing around with the equipment. First of all, you have to understand something. If something traveled here, you know what I'm saying? Millions of miles, trillions of miles, it's not going to sit around and play around with a, you know what I'm saying, crane. Because its consciousness has evolved past that. You know what I'm saying? That's like telling a, a 19 year old to play with a toy car. Like, I don't, I have no interest in that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what made me think like, okay, these extraterrestrials are not actually extraterrestrials. Because if you traveled millions of light years, you know what I'm saying, to get here, which means if you have the capability to travel that far over here, your consciousness is way beyond that. Like you literally have to understand how to bend and fold time, you know what I'm saying, in order to travel this sort of distance, in order to even get over here. So playing with the crane is not something that's going to interest you. If anything, you're already going to know how to operate it. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. We're dealing with beings that are supposed to be incredibly advanced. Because in order for you to get over here, from wherever you came from, you have to be advanced. That seems like it was some sort of pony show. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that mass media is... This is the story that they chose to run with, even though every day there's somebody that sees some sort of extraterrestrial craft. You know what I'm saying? There's not a day that goes by that there's not somebody on this earth that sees some sort of extraterrestrial craft. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I feel like that video was not an actual extraterrestrial. It may have been someone or something in a suit that is from this particular planet that just wanted it to be put out there that, oh, you know what I'm saying? Extraterrestrials are here because they've been here. You know what I'm saying? Like there has been, like I said, beings coming to this planet after that bomb of Kirishima went off because, you know what I'm saying? Because of the devastation and the destruction that man is causing upon itself. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, which, by the way, there are reports that have gone out that there were, um, if you, again, watch that Project Blue Book, I'm trying to tell y'all it is so important that I don't always tell people to watch stuff just because I simply don't even watch TV and I don't care. But certain things that I feel like it's incredibly important for people to watch because of the message that's what's in it. So because of that, that particular show is so incredibly important to watch just because of all the hidden information that they just put in the show. And it's based upon a true story. Like those people actually were alive. You know what I'm saying? When you go further within the series, you realize a lot of those people were connected to JFK. And a lot of those people that were connected to JFK ended up dying mysteriously before JFK died okay there's so many cover ups it's crazy but um just because they didn't want this information to get out but it was one particular um story that I will not forget there were they were testing these nuclear missiles off the coast of an island like I think it was out in the Pacific. And these extraterrestrials hovered over this particular area and pretty much deactivated all of the nuclear missiles. They were like right in the middle of about to launch in these nuclear missiles and they literally shut it off. They shut them off. They completely shut them off. And I'm saying if they have the tech type of technology to say, you know what? I'm going to stop you off from playing with y'all toys. That means they're way more advanced than we are. 
So playing around with the crane, like I said, is not going to be something that interests them, okay? I'm just calling the spade a spade. So no, I don't feel like that video was an actual depiction of an extraterrestrial spacecraft. I feel like that was a terrestrial spacecraft. It was technology that the average American has never seen. And yes, back in the early 50s and 60s, they understood how to cloak technology back then. That's what I'm saying. Please watch that show. If y'all don't do nothing else, which I like, watch that show. And go get some of these nachos. Because these nachos are good. I'm starting to get four. Because with me um going raw vegan, I don't eat as much as I used to anymore. If I eat all this, I'll start feeling heavy. And then I'll get sleepy. So... Yeah, this video is pretty, it's not that long, but um, I felt like I said what I needed to say. Just what I will say, moving forward, be leery of the information that you receive from anywhere. Do your research, analyze the data, you know what I'm saying? Do not believe in everything that you see, especially do not walk within the realm of fear. Because in all actuality, there's nothing to fear. And extraterrestrials are certainly not something to fear, okay? Especially considering the fact that, I'm not going to say all extraterrestrials, because I can't speak for all of them. But um, I would really honestly say that man is the problem. Humans. I think you should. They are. Because y'all worried about what well, something from another planet gonna do. But meanwhile, they're over here creating fake wars for profit. Come on now. These extraterrestrials that come to this planet are not the issue. They're these humans. Like I said, every piece of technology that they get, they want to figure out a way how to weaponize it. How do we turn this into a weapon? Like, oh my God. How do you turn psychic abilities into a weapon? Like, the CIA, that MK Archer, that's real. And they've been doing that since the 50s. All this stuff is information that can be easily and readily found. Creating these programs... Having people tap into these abilities so that they can, you know what I'm saying, so that they commit espionage. Like, come on now. It's crazy. It's crazy the amount of things that people will do just to protect their assets. Because that's what it is at the end of the day. It's like a money laundering scheme. How do we trick these people into paying us more? You know what I'm saying? War costs money. Who do you think is paying for these wars? Because it ain't them. It ain't them. But anyways, um, this is just my particular take on this video. Um, Like I said, I don't believe that Whatever beings that were seen in those videos, they weren't of an extraterrestrial nature. They weren't outside Earth. Whatever they were, that I believe that they were somehow created in some lab in Area 51. And like I said, out of all the places, all the places in the world that a craft just so happened to land on somebody's yard, it's in Vegas. Which is not far from Area 51. The math ain't math to me. But anyways, y'all. Again, if you're in the Orlando area, please check out Jacked Up. I think it's Jacked Up Vegan. Like I said, I do not remember the street that it's on. But um, 
they have some really fantastic food. Um, I personally got jackfruit because it's not processed vegan food, which no shade to them. It's just a personal preference for me. But those fries, I mean fries, nachos, were delicious, okay? Um, again, if you're in the area, check out their food. Um, there's another vegan restaurant that I went to not too long ago. I kind of like just went out to eat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God, I don't remember what the name of this restaurant was. Oh, it's... I forgot the name. I'll put that name in a restaurant in this... um in the comment section below too they don't sell a, they don't have a large menu of vegan items but it's like um vegan quesadillas and it's like different types of quesadillas and it was so 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 delicious i actually went there twice like i said i kind of just been like you know what i'm saying doing my thing and enjoying life not always creating videos and kind of just like learning to live in the moment but um yeah, the few places that I went in um, Orlando that has vegan food has been pretty good so far. So if you're ever in this particular area and you're looking for vegan food, there are some pretty nice hot spots that you could hit to um, get vegan food. And another thing that I've realized about Florida, y'all y'all really should be ashamed of yourselves because it's, it's incredibly hard to find a watermelon with seeds in it down here. All these watermelons down here are seedless unless you go to Sprouts, okay? So if you're in the Floridian area and you want a watermelon that doesn't, that actually has seeds in it, that is not genetically modified, go to Sprouts because that's the only place you can find them. That's literally the only place that I found them the entire time that I've been here, which is freaking crazy. But anyways, you guys, I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope you take heed to what I said. I hope if you're in the Florida Orlando area that you go check out these restaurants because... I ain't gonna lie to you, that's good. It's good. It's so good. I keep I wanna keep eating it, but the way my stomach is set up right now, is it's it's not about the I can't I can't eat that. But anyways, um I hope y'all have an amazing day. Um take care of your mind, take care of your body, and spirit will do the rest for you. But anyways, oh and if you're having time uh, a trouble time like concentrating or cognition or stuff like that, get you in the life, okay? It's called a mushroom elixir. Okay, and it has a bunch of mushrooms in it. It's like microdosing, but without actually microdosing because I guess it is considered as microdosing because it's like mushrooms, but it's not shrooms. If you're gonna microdose. Anyways, I hope y'all have an amazing day. <laughs> Bye.